The ease with which one can work with concrete is called workability. This can be measured using a simple test called the slump test. Let me show you the procedure. Slump cone test is a simple and popular test extensively used at sites to assess the workability of the concrete mix. The test should be conducted at the commencement of the concreting operations or whenever the workability of the concrete changes. The apparatus for conducting the slump test essentially consists of a metallic mold in the form of a frustum of a cone with a base plate. A steel tamping rod of 16 mm diameter and 60 cm height is to be used for compacting. The internal surface of the mold should be thoroughly cleaned of moisture and any hardened concrete before commencing the test. The mold is placed on a smooth, horizontal, rigid and non-absorbent surface. It is then filled in four layers with the thickness of each layer being approximately one-fourth of the height of the mold. Each layer should be tamped 25 times evenly using the rounded end of the tamping rod such that strokes are uniformly distributed over the cross section. After the top layer is tamped, the concrete is leveled with a trowel so that the mould is filled exactly to the top. The mould is then removed by raising it gradually. The concrete will subside. This subsidence is known as slump. This operation shall be carried out without any jerks or vibrations and within a period of two minutes after completion of final tamping. The difference in level between the height of the mould and that of the highest point of the subsided concrete is measured. The subsidence measured is the slump of the concrete. The slump may either be a true slump, a sheer slump or a collapsible slump. The true slump is the desired form of slump that we require. In harsh mixes, the concrete slides down in an inclined plane. This is known as shear slump. In collapse slump, the concrete collapses as soon as the cone is removed. It usually occurs in very wet mixes. The concrete demonstrating a shear or collapse slump is considered unsatisfactory. In case of slump results beyond the specified limits, the mix proportion needs to be adjusted, especially the water content. The slump can also be varied by changing the proportion, size and combination of the various sizes of the aggregates. It is advisable to assess the workability of concrete mix using a slump cone. Ensure that the cone is filled in a proper manner as indicated. Notice the type of slump. Shear and collapse slump are undesirable. Adjust the slump to the desired value by changing the proportion.